Okay, welcome everybody to a class on will and won't. This is another way um, to talk about the future. Yeah, we saw in the previous class, in the last class, we saw, we learnt, we studied um, going to and present continuous. And we can use going to and present continuous for future plans. Present continuous is for the near future and going to is for any future. And going to is also for predictions, but you can use will and won't for predictions as well. General predictions and not predictions based on current evidence around you. If you can see a reason for your prediction, you should use going to. If you can't see a reason or you're just making a general prediction, you can use will and won't and we'll see that at the bottom. OK, now will and won't. Won't is will not. OK, it's just the, the negative form of will. And they are modal verbs, will and won't. Now, what is a modal verb? Well, a modal verb does not add an S when it's he or she or it. Yet you do not say he wills. You say he will. You say he can. You say he should. He would. He could. And they're all verbs, but none of them you add the S. All ordinary verbs, you do add the S for he and she. But with modal verbs, you don't. And modal verbs always have an infinitive after them without two. So it's always will go, will play, will study, will eat, will drink, will have, will be. Um, and it's always infinitive, OK, after a modal verb. OK. So there's only one form of a modal verb. There is no wills. There's not even a willing. OK, there's no ing form of the verb. There's no s form of the verb. There's only one form of the verb. Will, can, could, should, would. But, but, with questions, with I and we, if you, we don't usually use will or won't. We use shall instead. Let me just quickly highlight that. Here it is. Shall I come with you? And not will I come with you? Shall I come with you? Shall I come with you? you we usually say shall if it's a question with I or if it's a question with we. Shall we have a quiz at the end of the class Yeah, to revise, to repeat will and won't? Shall we have a quiz at the end of the class? Shall we? So shall I and shall we for questions. But... Other questions, like with they, it's will they go to the shops? Yeah, and not shall they go to the shops. So other pronouns, they, you, um, they, you, uh, what was it called? He, he or she, will she come with us? We use will with other pronouns or won't, okay? Now, we use will and won't for spontaneous things, spontaneous plans. Plans aren't usually spontaneous. But sometimes when you talk about the future, you do spontaneously decide to make someone an offer or make a suggestion or make a promise. And that's quite often spontaneous. And so when you do this, you use will or won't. We also need will or won't for something called first conditional, which is here. It's when you use if. OK, we need will or won't when we use first conditional. And yeah, we can use will or won't for predictions, which we'll see down here with optimistic and pessimistic predictions. OK, um, so let's give you a, uh, one example. Maybe I am going on holiday with my wife, with Asya, and I um, my suitcase is incredibly heavy. It's very, very, very heavy. And I'm complaining because I'm tired of dragging this suitcase. It's really, really heavy. And my wife says, don't worry, Dave, I'll carry your suitcase and my suitcase. Yeah, I'll carry both suitcases. So here we don't say I'm going to carry. We don't say I am carrying. We don't use present continuous. We use will when it's an offer. This is clearly an offer of help. Yeah, she is offering to carry my luggage. Yeah. And so we would say I'll carry both suitcases. OK, so when you make an offer, when you make somebody an offer, when you make somebody, when you make a suggestion to somebody or when you make a promise.